Good morning. Um, I'm recycling. Those are the boxes that my hair coloring comes in and the inside is this lovely craft paper which I adore. Love craft paper. Um, I don't know how to classify my crafting style. It's not shabby chic, it's not vintage, it's not, it's really not any one particular thing. And I often feel kind of like I'm missing out because I'm not, I don't specialize in any given thing, but anyway, so that's beside the point. So I have a couple of punches, I'm going to see what I can get out of these two boxes. And yeah, it takes two boxes of hair coloring and I use the Olea, here I'll show you exactly which one I use. I use the Olea, the um, Garni Olea, which is oil powered, there's no peroxide in it. And I do it every four weeks or so when someone reminds me. That would be garbage pickup. Um, and it's 6.65, and I've also used 4.62, which is this brilliant red. Let's see if I can show you where. Anyway, so I'm gonna um, upcycle this into. Shush it! Um, why is it when I turn the camera on, you guys start talking? <laughs> They're doing their job, I can't get upset at them. <clears throat> It's a balmy 33 degrees this morning. It was 72 day before yesterday. So, yeah, I might be almost time for socks. I have the little space heater on for the animals in the living room, so they're all cushion uh, on when they're not barking and warning. Mosey, that's enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um so they are nice and comfy. And then this morning I went into the downstairs bathroom. I usually use the one upstairs, obviously. Um, but I came downstairs um, and I knew that there was a um, coffee candle in the bathroom down here. So I wanted to light that in the kitchen, kind of, I don't know, sometimes the illusion of a flame candle gives you warmth, even though it might not give off heat. It's kind of a psychosomatic thing. Um, so I wanted to light one, and I walk into the bathroom, and the toilet seat is up, just the lid, and the cat is inside the toilet, drinking water. And I'm like, well, are you out of water? So I looked, not that she was going to answer me, but I looked in the kitchen, and sure enough, the water bowl is completely empty. I must have forgotten to check last night before going to bed. So I filled that up, but I've never busted the cat inside the toilet. At first I thought it was her tushy that was in the toilet, like she had learned how to use the toilet, which we never taught her, but some cats do. I used to have a cat that did that when I was a kid. So um, I'm going to get this done, um, reading my emails for work. Um, it's Friday. Um, I was feeling a little kind of under, I, less than myself last night. I did make dinner um, and I almost abandoned it in the oven and went up to bed, but I did not. I pushed through. So I took a couple of leaves, felt much better, drank an entire full seltzer. That always kind of refreshes me. I probably was a little dehydrated. I need to, again, stay on top of three liters a day of fluid. And um, we had a lovely dinner. The um, I had previously poo-pooed basmati rice. Not basmati, brown rice. Um, because I had what I now know were, was some bad brown rice or not tasty brown rice, but brown rice can absolutely be fabulous. The um, rice pilaf I made last night with all the herb leftovers from the chicken, um, which they there was no cross-contamination. I used separate utensils. And then um, I added some crumbles of goat cheese. It was delicious. I have a little bit left over for lunch today, as well as a piece of chicken, roasted chicken that I made last night. That was very popular, and we're both loving the uh, regular plates. Um, I was kind of getting sick of the paper plates, and it's a, an excuse. It's just as easy to wash two individual plates than it is to toss two paper plates in the garbage. And less waste and less cost. So, um, I'm going to get my day going. I do have a video that I'm going to do during the day, which will probably go will, will go live before uh, the vlog will. And that's the page-by-page -page view of the 
two 12 by 12 paper stacks that I got yesterday. Um, I did get a couple of requests to show them page by page, which I might do in, in the same video. So, And as always, if there's any other videos that I do throughout the day, I include the links in the description if you ever want to check them out. Um, or you can make it really simple on yourself and you could click on, um, I think there's a down carrot over here, and you could subscribe to my channel if you don't already subscribe and get email notifications when a new video comes up. I find that's the easiest way for me to stay on top of subscriptions, you know, um, YouTube channels that I subscribe to, because the way the scroll of new videos um, works in YouTube is as when someone uploads a video, let's say, at 8 a.m., which my, my vlogs go live at 8 a.m., but then you subscribe to, let's say, a hundred other people and they each put, you know, half of them put up a video, that 8 a.m. scheduled video is going to get buried down below the ones that publish after 8 a.m. So that's why I find the channels that I really want to kind of stay on top of or not miss anything from, I subscribe to their, I, I don't, I not only have them in my feed, I also subscribe to be notified when they upload a video via email. So I just get an email pop-up. And I try not to inundate people with, you know, five, six, ten videos a day. It's usually one, maybe two. Sometimes there are none. <laughs> um, so then you get an email notice, and then you can either watch it right from your email or click on the link from the email and watch the video either on your desktop, laptop, or on your mobile device. Um, it works the same way on all of them. So there you go. There's my public announcement for the day. And I know someone posted a message yesterday on Facebook about um, their dislike about what when they click on to watch a video that they're brought to a playlist instead of the l l video in the feed. I am researching that. I think I might have a solution. And when I do, I might do a separate video about that because I think other people might be interested in seeing that as well. And it's kind of outside of the scope of my vlogs and crafty stuff. So there you go. Uh, and you know, as always, if you have any particular questions about YouTube videos, whatever, I might not be the expert, but I could certainly do the research and find out, or I might have already stumbled across this in the past myself and can share the information. Because I think knowledge is power. The more you know, the better informed choices you can make. So I'm going to get my day going, get my to-do list um, all written down, because I find that's more successful for me than trying to keep things straight in my head, because there is so much for me to keep straight. And that is precisely why... I failed yesterday on my license and had to pay an additional $25 because I had been keeping track so much of what was been, what has been going on with Polly and his health and his doctor's appointments and maintenance and medications and all that. I forgot about me. And if I fail on me, it's a domino effect. Other stuff will fail after. So I need to first take care of myself and then everything else in the household, including my 51-year-old child. I know, I look great for my age, don't I? <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a bit. I hope all of you will get a laugh out of this like I did. So I decided to take the air conditioner out of the window and couldn't balance it and close the glass that it was being held by. So it fell out, bounced on the bush and landed in the dirt. So yeah, now I have to wait for Polly to come home so he could pick it up and bring it in the house. <laughs> Uh, it's not supposed to rain, so not a problem. But yeah, that's today's epic fail. It was too funny. I did laugh at myself because I should have known better than to try to do this on my own. Just couldn't balance the two storm window glass pieces that were down. Oh, I have to close that one too. That were coming down and get the air conditioner in the house. But at least it was unplugged, right? <laughs> And it was ground floor, so it fell like four feet, maybe. And it was cushioned by the bush. So if there was ever a good place to fall, that was it. Not the one from the, that's in our bedroom window, but that I think we'll take in together. <laughs> at least I could laugh at myself. So it's uh, warmed up a tiny little bit. Uh, there's our garbage can I have to bring back and Oh, let me show you. Polly left me a message on the note that I leave for him in the mornings. So that's, there's the note. I've added officially glasses to the list, and he wrote, Thank you, I love you. That's cute. 
and I even used glow in the dark Halloween tape for today because <laughs> it's Halloween after all and this is what happens when you have a meeting where you can't do anything loud because you may have to speak but you can't do anything else on your computer so yeah I made myself a little checkers board out of my <laughs> 9 by 9 making memories um, self-healing mat one a one circle one inch circle punch from EK success the packaging from my hair coloring and that's the circles from the pizza um, pan liner <laughs> I already posted a picture of this on Instagram because I thought it was kind of funny it's an emergency checkers board I'm not sure whether it's regulation or not but it looked pretty funny so I bet I could play one on one might even play when Polly gets home. <laughs> oh, I'm having all sorts of fun. And then I utilize the rest of the packaging from my hair color boxes and uh, made all of these, which is not too shabby since one side's a hair coloring box and the other side is this lovely, like, distressed, you know, non regular or irregular craft paper. And I even have remnants left over. For maybe use as um, masks for some, I don't know, um, probably we'll throw them in the recycler, but you could probably utilize them Not another way, so there's always another way to look at something. So I'm going to go make myself a nice, big, fresh seltzer, and then get on to uh, videotaping the rest of a couple of things I need to post outside of this vlog because Polly's coming home early, he just has remnants of stuff to do for his route today, and he's gonna run over to Restaurant Depot for me. I need new squeeze bottles for um, oils and vinegars, because at some point, those plastics just can only be washed so many times, so you kinda have to toss them, unfortunately. I think they're recycled, so I will, or recyclable, so I, I will take a look at the bottom, see if they have a, a recyclable sign. Well, I think it's number one through seven, we are, our recycling takes care of one through seven so I'll take a look at that and then I can set up my um, oil and vinegar station again on a IKEA tray that I have on the kitchen table which is where I do most of my cook prep because I don't really have any counter space to be honest it's kind of overtaken so yeah maybe a little something fun to try a bit the quick and easy project for the kids they could pick out their favorite color give them a scrap piece of paper and in no time they'll have a checkers board. Now I'm curious whether this is even accurate checkers. It could be a faux checkers, you know. Who's gonna really... They're not competing, they're just playing to have fun. I am having leftovers for lunch. Uh, this is a little piece of the filet from the other night. Um, I just sliced it cold on some garlic bread and underneath I used some of the bang bang sauce. <laughs> I figure might as well, so that's the last of that. And then this is the leftover rice from last night. Polly's gonna have the chicken when he gets home as leftovers. He might make a chicken sandwich or chicken and cheese sandwich, whatever he wants. I know he won't uh, want either, well, he won't definitely want the rice, but. So I've warmed up the rice, and yes, that's a squeeze of ranch dressing on the side. I don't know what it is about <laughs> rice peel off the day after. And you could totally um, alter up that recipe I just added, I added just herbs and the goat cheese, but you can also add uh, slivered almonds, which is traditional and kind of a recipe for uh, pilaf. I think pilaf essentially means something other than rice, so because it's lots of herbs in it, you know, that's why I called it pilaf. Excuse me, so I'm going to enjoy my lunch and then I have a couple of reports to run around lunchtime. So that will be next on my to-do list. Yum! Yeah, that was very tasty. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I use a lunch plate instead of dinner plate for uh, the food. First of all, your brain plays tricks on you. That was a lot of food. And I'm very full, very satisfied. I finished off my seltzer. I'm going to go make a fresh one. First, I'm going to run out check on the chickens. And should I check to see if anybody's taken off uh, with our air conditioner? It's not likely, is it? I, I still can't stop laughing about that. It's just like, <laughs> you know, there are moments in life where you can choose to laugh then get upset. I know that if the tables were reversed, if it was p perhaps Polly that that happened to, there would have been a 
tirade of profanities coming from him. I I chose to, I consciously chose to just let it roll off of me and laugh because what's the other option? It's so much more, it's so much better uh, to laugh. Plus, I shared the photo on Instagram and Facebook so others can laugh along with me because I know I'm not the only one that that's happened to or something similar. So there's the question for today. What is your funny epic fail? Leave it below. Give me a laugh. I would love to laugh about it. So, oh, excuse me. I think I swallowed the last the carbonated liquid a little too fast. <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to go outside, um, probably take the doggies out, and then I want to, um, I'll do my dish and a couple of the dishes that are sitting around, and then I think this afternoon, uh, let's see, how late. Mm -hmm. I have a hankering for banana pumpkin bread, but I think even better would be to make them into mini muffins. I have these adorable little Halloween cupcake, mini cupcake um, wrappers, or you know, the little papers. And um, I thought maybe we can swing by after work and before it gets dark, before the kids take off, to give them some of those. Um, and sometimes a muffin is just even more enjoyable than a piece of bread, but it's the same recipe. So it's some um, pumpkin. Well, I'll post the recipe if I choose to do that. But yeah, I think it'll be nice. And it's getting cooler out, and there's just something about baked goods when it's cool and chilly out. How lovely with a nice hot cup of coffee or a nice, you know, hot tea. All sorts of options. So I'm going to go wash my dish. Well, I'm going to go drop off my dish, go look in on the chickens, and then come back and do the dishes. And then maybe, then I'll be able to get my um, projects done for this afternoon. So while Polly hands out the candies to the kids, I'm making banana pumpkin muffins. I'm going to make minis for today because I have these adorable little wraps, um, muffin um, cupcake liners, mini baking cups, and uh, larger ones to put in the freezer. So. Um, so I can use up most of this large can because it calls, um, because I've doubled the batch, so it calls for three cups of pumpkin, um, pie filling. Yeah, mm, yummy. And that's orange zest in there and four ripe bananas. I'm going to also add some cinnamon and, uh, pumpkin pie spice. Actually, it's apple pie spice. That's what I have on hand. I'm not running out to buy new. Uh, some vanilla, eggs. Uh, some sugar, some honey. Yeah, I'll put the recipe below, but I'll show you as it, as I go along. This is all the dry, uh, wet ingredients. I have the dry separately. So here's a here's a quick little tip. I need to add honey as part of the sugar, so it's going to be half sugar, half uh, honey. But I also need oil, so I'm going to use my measuring cup to measure the oil. Again, I'm doubling the recipe, so it's calls for one third, so I'm going to add two thirds, and then I'm going to measure the honey because then it'll slide right out of the cup without additional assistance. So I'll see if it works. So here's my oil, and we'll measure in the honey next. It's like kismet. I had to double the recipe because I had exactly one cup of honey left, and that's exactly what the doubled recipe. You got a cup of honey in here, honey. <laughs> My cup of honey is in the other room, but uh, the honey that I'm adding to the recipe that's going to go in the oven, um, I'm not going to put him in the oven, so I've uh, added the oil. Now let's see how easily the honey comes out. Look at that. Look at every morsel of honey comes out by itself because I've lubricated the container with the oil that I used before, the veggie oil. So easy peasy. And I'm kind of dork. I like to, <laughs> I don't like sticky things. So I leave a little paper towel underneath just to make sure. And yes, I am following a recipe. I just have it written down right here. So I need to add four eggs next. So check out these gorgeous eggs. So these are the eggs uh, from um, our neighbors, our neighbor Mark and his wife. Their chickens have started laying because they got them a month before us. Is it raining? Uh-oh. 
What about our air conditioner? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, but the electrical cords out there. So look at all the various colors. So there's a speckled brown. They happen to have a blue one this time. Uh, previously, they didn't have an Arcan on the lead blue. And look at this gorgeous chocolate brown and a medium brown. So I'm going to add these four eggs into the mix. Crack them first. But I always crack like one at a time in there just to make sure off, on the off chance that maybe a, there's one bad egg. I wouldn't want to spoil the rest of that, what I already have in there. Okay. I may not have needed to double this recipe because look what I have in the oven already. Minis and Giants. So the minis will come out first and I think I'll just make another batch of minis with the rest of this. Which okay. will be fine because we could freeze whatever we don't eat or share. So I just sang, I said, Polly, do you want to be a guinea pig? And then I'm like, do you want to build a snowman? Yep. Um, no. How about we just dunk the <laughs> these adorable little pumpkin banana muffins into a orange maple glaze. <gasps> so yummy. Okay, would you like to taste this? Yes, sir. Oh, oh sheesh. Sure. Really? Is me hot? Hot. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> Which part of, oh, careful, don't get it on my phone. Which part of it's hot? Yeah. Oh, is it good? Like, wow. Right, it'll be even better when it sets up. So I'm gonna um, just glaze the tops of these. Yeah, for me? Just I'm, another, uh, each of these trays. And I have two trays of the giant muffins in the, fr in the now, which we could freeze. You got more in there? Yeah. <laughs> I told you I should have just done a single batch. You get some of your mom and your well, my, my dad doesn't eat pumpkin. Remember, he's totally averted to pumpkin. Yeah, he won't buy that. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to glaze these and let them cool and reuse these pans for the next batch. And that might be the last batch for tonight. Well, there's the big muffins and the little muffins. I'll show you the comparison between the two. Mm -hmm. Aren't they cute? So these are now cool to the touch, and I'm going to start glazing them. These are still quite warm, and I have one more batch in the oven of the minis, which is perfect because I used up all of the batter. Great. So the glaze is nice and orangey, so I used uh, about uh, three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, and I might need to do more because I have a lot of muffins. But the ones that I'm putting in the freezer, I might not frost, just because I'm not sure how the frosting is going to freeze. So it's a cup of uh, powdered sugar, a juice of one orange, and then about a tablespoon of maple agave. So really nice flavor, a little bit of a zing from the orange. Nice combination with all of the, you know, fall spices. And it's really tasty between, uh, um, nice balance between, I'm sorry, Polly's letting Moses out, well, in between kids coming. <laughs> Moses is obsessed with the kids coming. He's just standing by the door waiting for more kids. It's so cute. So it's a nice combination uh, and nice balance between the bananas and the and the pumpkin. So neither flavor overpowers. It's kind of a nice marriage. So who would have known? Aren't they pretty? So there, um, as if I'm not, you know, retentive enough, <laughs> I'm putting jumbo leaves and that's a Wilton product. Let me just show you. Fall leaves, jumbo sprinkles. I don't remember where I got them, but there they go. Aren't they cute? Yeah. So that's going to be it for us for today because now I'm tuckered out and I just have enough enthusiasm to edit the vlog. And uh, that's it. And it's Friday night and we gave away most of the candy. It's about five of nine right now, so not too shabby. We had lots of little kids and some older kids, and uh, I have to take those out of the oven. Those are done. Woo, steamed you up, so there you go. Don't forget the thumbs up. It's free for you and helps me out. Ooh, look, new polish. I'll show that in a separate video. Now we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. Pictures on Instagram and Facebook and my blog.